Hello and welcome to this video where I will show you how you set up MySQL inside Rats and Blazes Studio. To have a database that we can connect to, I will go to apachefriends.org. I will link it in the description and we're going to download SAMP so that we have a MySQL database that we can connect to. And in my case, I want to download the SAMP for Windows. So now when that's downloaded, let's try and install it. And for this message, we just want to say OK. Then we want to hit next and next again and next. And I can see in my case, I already have the folder. So I'll just go and delete the folder and try to install it again. So now I just deleted this folder and let's say next. So now it's OK. Then you want to go and select your language. It only has two. So it either is English or it's Deutsch. And I'll just want to select the English one. So I'll say next and next again. And now it will install same. So now when it's installed, we can go and open our control panel. So we just say finish. And then we want to start the Apache server and the MySQL. So now inside the browser, we can just minimize this same control panel. And then let's open a new tab in our browser. And we will say localhost slash PHP my admin. And now we can see all the databases that we have in the left side here. And we can hit the new button so that we can create our own database. And I'll actually just call this test one because we already have a test. So let's say create. And just so that we don't have to do it manually, I just want to import some data I already have. So I want to say choose a file. And inside here, I have this world underscore x dot sql file that i want to import i will make a download button to you so you can just go and fetch the same if you want to try it out but i want to say open this file and then just scroll down to the button because it already knows that the format is sql that's the standard so i'll just say import and i do get an error when importing this but it's okay because it have already imported just two tables and that's fine for this project so now when i click the city you can see that we have a whole bunch of data regarding to some cities and i also have some countries so now let's go and open rats and blazer studio and then create a new project I just want to take the Blazor server application and let's call this for my SQL app. And we want to use the .NET 7 framework. The theme is OK. And then I want to select a folder and I just created this my SQL app. So I'll select that and say finish. And now that the project is set up, we can see the project and I want to click on the data tab. Then we want to choose the my SQL and say next. So in here we have the server, which is localhost. And then we actually come to the part where we need to have a user with a password because if we just say root which is the default root user in php my admin when using same then it actually comes without a password so if we say next now you can see the password is required and just by saying that we use localhost we can actually go and see all the tables so we will just use the world x but you can still see we still need a password for our user so let's go back to php my admin and then if we go to the php my admin just click the logo and we want to go to the user accounts so what we can do is you can see here that we have a root user with no password so you could maybe just go and edit it so that it gets a password but i will actually just create a new account so say add user account call this for root one and then we want to create a password i'll just say one two three four and retype it and finally we just want to check all the privileges so that this user can do everything and then we want to hit go so if we go back to rats and blazes studio we can now say root number one and the password is one two three four and we say next and then we get all the tables here that we have the city and the country table so just to test it out i just want to make some crowd functionality so we can go and edit in the database and create some values so i'll just hit next and say create pages for crowd operations and we just want to use this crowd so we say next and all the models will be created so that's also fine and we say finish and let's just go and run this so we do get the city and we get the countries but let's go and go to the countries and then let's click a country and inside here you have to be a little bit careful because if you have a structure in your database that say that this can only be three in length so that the code can only contain three then if you go in here and you say let's say three so now it contains four then if you hit save you'll get an error so if you get an error inside here 
that it said it cannot save it, then try to go to your structure to see how many characters that it can contain and also check what data type it is. But we can see that the name can contain 52. So let's try and go in again and just add some extra to this country and say save. And then you can see we actually saved it. So next we can go and delete it and let's say okay. So that also works. And then finally, let's try and add a new country. I'll just call this triple A and let's call the country for AAA test. And we say that the capital is just, let's say one. We can see that I already have a, a one capital of Afghanistan. I think that is because I didn't get the whole database when we imported this. So this number one would actually be a reference to another table. But then finally, let's type AA and say save. And now you can see that our record is saved in the database and we can also go and edit it again. So that is basically how you set up MySQL inside Rats and Blazers Studio using SAMP as your local host, PHP My Admin. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And then I will see you in the next video. Bye.